Hello there and welcome. We are again doing a follow up. We were supposed to finish the Mewar achievement. Mewar never changes. And from my calculations, well, we are almost there. So I've decided to do a short uh, timeline to feature what happened in the last, I believe, almost a hundred years. Because I'm slow, that's why. So. I think um, we left off near 1580 and easily we will jump to 1851, uh, the year when we integrated uh, Kalingar, these guys. And I've also decided to become besties with uh, Shagatai, things that, well, the Shagatai alliance didn't, didn't uh, work that much for, for us. And uh, yeah, nothing uh, major happening here. We were able to get um, these guys, the jar Jarkland. <laughs> we got them as a vassal and we put quite a bit of work into them and uh, expanding them. And so we quickly go to 1591 when, well, what can I do? I had to conquest uh, Raipur because it was, I think it was around here somewhere. It was one of the provinces that I needed. I guess this one. Or no, I had a claim on uh, on Raipur and of course Bahmanis was guaranteed by Vagina Guard. So I've decided to make a bit of a mess here. And that leads us to 1594, I guess when well another war got uh, uh, got attention here i've decided to go against uh, i i've i've joined afghanistan in their conquest against uh, uh sin and well lucky enough we actually got four provinces as you can see here we got four provinces which we basically took as a you know as a payment for joining the war right afghanistan took sin and they gave us four provinces from from yampur because yampur was protecting sin now as soon as i took the provinces i decided to go for another vessel because as you know i have uh influence ideas and that makes it a bit uh, easier to to um, you know integrate and expand with our vessels I think I had another war here which I totally forgot about uh, in which I took another uh, provinces all of these provinces that I'm trying to take here now are actually needed for I believe the uh, final mission that required us to well eat most of Yampur now in 1605 which is pretty getting pretty close in 1605, I have. Um, I've, I'm actually taking these guys, the Jarklands, because I made an error earlier. They were just released, and then we were able to uh, vesselize them, and we also took another uh, province that we needed here for our mission. And also in uh, 1605, we were able to finish one of the um, one of the missions, stating that we need to conquer Kanuj or something like that. And time flies to 1612, I guess, when we had a bit of a um, <coughs> scandal here with Gujarat, and they were of course guaranteed by Vagina Guard. We've separate peace with Jaina Guard and took here a bit of Diplo heat because I've decided to take all of these provinces which, well, we didn't have any claims on it because Cochin was... Cochin is special, right? So he basically wanted uh, provinces here and there. I don't know what was the logic behind him and his its claims, but definitely I had to take a hit here. So I separate please Vijanagar took these provinces and then took also two provinces from Gujarat. So four from Vijanagar, two from Gujarat. I think I also gave one or two to Cochin, the ones that 
actually had claims on, at this point we were still ahead of them in military tech, so that basically made things pretty, pretty easy for us. And this is 1630, we are moving to 1650, I guess. It's gonna be a war with Gorka here. Gorka, well, we actually needed, we had a claim on one of the provinces, and again, I used Gorka because they were guaranteed by Yampur. Of course, I took some other provinces from Yampur, hoping and uh, well, praying to God that we are getting closer and closer to, to our mission. Uh, also, in these areas, uh, in this period 1615, 1616, I've started upgrading the trade nodes because one of the last tier missions required us to have five trade nodes, uh, level two, that were owned by, by uh, the Vishnas, I guess. Yeah, somebody like that. Well, you can we can we can check after this time lapse is um, is over. Now, I know things look kind of boring here, but remember, we also have Mewari Natal, which is our Mewari African thingy going on, and I've been pretty busy here colonizing almost all the spice islands and of course expanding here into Sunda and further on uh, Siak. Anyway, back here. Uh, in 1617, as you will probably see, the war will end and you will see us, well, getting more promises. Part of them went to our vessel, Jerkland, because, well, the religion, uh, I guess, is the wrong religion. The um, culture is the wrong culture, so why not? We should give them something to to work. In 1618, we got a new heir because our original heir died. We got an heir with a six, with a five six two claim, uh, five six two points, and of course, uh, well, a weak claim. Um, we we moved, I guess, here now in 1618. It was supposed to be. Yeah, I'm gonna declare a war on this guy, Pangasius, and of course we've taken everything. I know it's a bit confusing, but this is Tondo, and this is Mewar. Yeah, I know. In 1620, I guess, we are moving on to Sunda. There it was. 1623, when we've decided to go against Siak, I've uh, got claims on all of these and of course I will take everything that they have there. It took quite a bit of time to actually finish this, but well, it is what it is. That went pretty well. Uh, in um, 1628, I guess, we've also started working on Multan, well, which is no longer here, probably already happened. Yeah, 1628 uh, Punjab, we've used Punjab to declare on Multan and well, Multan was buddies with Baluchistan, ex Baluchistan, and of course I've given uh, Multan provinces to Punjab and I decided to take Baluchistan since he was a one province minor. I will continue till 1635, I guess, I will continue with minor wars, expanding our vessels, as you can see, Kalandi, and then we will expand in Cochin, of course, Jarkland, easily, easily trying to expand them and push all these little kingdoms out of the map. Uh, something curious happened in 1635, I was not expecting it, but the Ottomans declared a trade war on us. They had this province here, so I guess they used this to make things uh, happen. It was shocking because they have, and right now, they still have the biggest army uh, possible. But they weren't able to push enough through Afghanistan and we've countered them pretty wisely and we've been able to take a few forts here and, well, I think we killed around 100k which kind of gave us the opportunity and what happened was the Ottomans have a province here but they also had three provinces here three well they are actually still um, 
how do you call it? they're still colonizing this so as um, war spoils we've asked for these so yeah no more Ottomans here of course they were able to get their foot in the door again oh, after this experience I've decided to get a bigger buddy involved and I've allied Russia and it seemed that well that was the end for the Ottomans no more wars uh, we went back then in uh, 1641, I'm sorry, it's 1643 already, but in 1641 we went back and attacked Sunda because we had again, I was able to fabricate claims and we took the rest of them and of course I will continue to fabricate claims, but as you will see, god damn Portugal got involved, god damn it, well, it is what it is. It's soon gonna be 1644 and take a look here at Gorka and Yampur. We are doing the same thing. Your, uh, Gorka is still uh, protected by, uh, by Yampur. And well, that cost them. Of course, we took a few more provinces. We swiftly moved to Vaginagard. Of course, a war that ended in 1649. We gave all the claims to Cochin. So we can see our baby grow. Also, in 1649, we were able to accomplish uh, another of the last year um, missions. It was the mission that uh, asks of us to renovate Kanaj. I think Kanaj is around here somewhere, yeah. Now, the annoying thing was... And again, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm not wearing my glasses. However... It didn't say that Kanaj will become our capital. So, yeah, there I was. Finding myself in a situation where my capital, again, has been moved to a different uh, territory. And it was the wrong uh, culture. Of course, that's the most annoying thing because we are not able to get our proper income. What is this? 1649, yeah. We have to move to 1651 when we took another two provinces from Gujarat. Yep, that was it. That was the magic. And uh, we are also declaring here. I think we already declared also also on Orissa. It was also 15, uh, 1651, I guess. That went pretty well. Um... And I'm moving back here to Sunda, I guess, for, fi for 1655, right? Already Portugal is already here, right? So what we have left was Bali. Well, ex-Bali. At some point, Bali was an independent nation, was con conquered by, by uh, Sunda. And since Portugal invaded this area, I decided to, well, make things uh, harder on them because that's what we do and we will surely get to 1665 when we were able to complete the the mission right the the mission that required us to get all this uh, all this territory that means of course we had another war whoops with Yampur yeah so what I've done was Yampur at this point was allied with Afghanistan so I took Afghanistan and asked them to help me against my Guje war. Now these Guje boys, I, were, I was able to attack them because Punjab finally had two claims here on them and they were allied with Assam. So I called Afghanistan, I kept them busy while after a month declaring war on Yampur and of course Yampur, well, they couldn't call Afghanistan because Afghanistan was busy. So I just fought Yampur and I believe Arkan or something like that, probably. Well, long story short, as you can see, there's almost no more Yampur. And that's those were the provinces, the last provinces that we needed for Ma Magada and Varanasi mission. That was it, the one that required us to take most of Yampur. That was the most... I guess the most complicated in a way the one that required conquesting and all that so yeah that was uh, that was it at this point basically 
can we go back to the game yeah so it's 2 March 1667 this is how it looks it's not a pro game so don't tell me a Roomba did it or budget monk did it or Siu King did it we are here acting like casual players here's something to see I've also decided to ally Great Britain just because of the Portuguese men mm, and they're not even a menace they're just annoying I would like to take this and well to be honest I also wanted to take this but I believe I would need the help of at least the Navy of Great Britain to make things easier if I am to continue now I would say the missions are well we are almost there right so we had this the Rajput trade guilds that was done this is the one that I've been talking about the one that required us to have all that land from Yampur we've renovated Kanoj that re and that actually made us get this new goddamn capital here what was required is to get this uh, World Trade Center to level 3 a level 2 is costing 200 ducats if I'm not mistaken a level 3 is costing 1000 ducats the upgrading so prepare prepare the credit cards so as you can see we could say that well Mewar never changes that's true however uh, we are here I still have to somehow get 120 discipline and more let's see actually we need to get to 125 discipline so yeah that will be that will be tricky because it's already the age of absolutism we are doing decently on absolutism uh, 87 maximum we are at 59 and I believe we can reach 70 well with a bit of luck we will actually reach the cap here I'm still hoping we're there still uh, we can still do it we were fortunate enough that finally we were able to get the harsher treatment uh, going on that gives us a minus 50% to any harsh treatment that we would like to apply which is great because I've been suffering a bit um, with my military points we're doing decently here we have 333 for all of our uh, dirty little helpers and I've decided to accept Rajasthani as a promoted culture um, here's our king it's a 524 not that bad not that great uh, we're gonna have an air of 055 not that great <laughs> our economy it's looking pretty decently it's incredible how much money you can make in this uh, part of the world well you as a your u4 constant player you already know that however yeah 200 ducats and we are left with almost 30 ducats a month which is amazing we have 45 light ships we have 23 transports finally 11 heavies and I believe these are lights and these are heavies so we should combine them as soon as possible armies 45 32 45 here 32 here 29 here and 28 here pretty decent generals of course I've seen much better our army tradition kind of took a hit uh, at some point we were at 80 90 mm, I'm not sure exactly what happened but yeah I would say this is kind of it I guess I will do one more video after I'm able to <laughs> after I'm able to create some type of magic and get over this 120 discipline I hope you're enjoying this please drop a comment and contribute to the discussion of course I've switched a bit my schedule in the sense that I'm trying to play and stream and then I'm doing these uh, well summaries of what's going on and pretty soon I'm still more or less testing but I, I'm thinking that pretty soon I'll be able to stream and then edit everything that I'm streaming and share it on 
uh, YouTube. I guess you can check my channel, um, the um, the Twitch channel, and you can find that in my about. I should probably update also the description and have the channel listed there. Well, this is the world. And this is the alternative history in 1667. And here we are. Hmm. We are the greatest power ever created. I'm not sure how that works. I mean, look at the Ottomans. Ottoman. And look at their army. Oh my god. <laughs> 341,000 soldiers with a manpower base of 164k. That's just scary. It's surprising that Great Britain, they had, 10 years ago, they have 70,000 70, uh, soldiers and now they have 177. So they were able to outpace us fast. Same thing with Portugal. I was actually thinking seriously of attacking them without any repercussions because they had around 77k yeah, in 10 years they doubled that the only ones that are not doubling in any way are the Russians well I'm sure that they are working on something really secret and important and until next time thank you for watching I do appreciate your likes and comments and i will see you soon on youtube and on twitch take care have a beautiful week and you know play the video game